So, I wanted to do a quick demonstration with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation in Porcelain. This is shade 1 Porcelain, the lightest shade, and I wanted to show how well it may or may not match my skin since I've never used it yet. Um, since it's my first time using it, I wanted to be able to do it on camera and give you sort of a first look with it. You've already seen me use the Bare Skin in the wrong shade, Bare Satin. First, I'm going to shake it up because you're supposed to shake this thing really well. So now that it's shook, I'm going to take the little brush that has a little funnel and put one drop exactly. That's it. One drop. We're going to go put this on my face. I don't have any primer on my face. I have moisturized my face, but that's it. So far I have one drop. I've used it on this side of my face. I don't really feel like I can see a difference with it. I'm going to put in one more drop. Okay, so now I have one drop uh, on this side and one drop on this side and I must have used a, a, a bigger drop because this side I feel like has very good coverage and I feel like my skin looks pretty good. I feel like I need to go back with more on this side of my face just to cover up my skin's imperfections. One drop. The color isn't bad. It's a tiny bit dark and the only reason I can tell is because I'm blending it down my neck. But I'm really impressed by the fact that the color isn't really... It's only like a tiny bit dark. This is what it looks like on my face. I'm going to test it out for wear because I don't have any primer on and we'll see how long it goes. So it is now... 5.43 p.m. my time. We'll see what happens when I come back and uh, see how it fares in the hot, humid Florida weather. So I'm back. It's 10.53. I went out to dinner with my friend Eugenia and um, her boyfriend Matt and my husband Ray, and we had a great time. Um, she said that she thought the foundation looked pretty good, just slightly too dark, and she could only tell because, you know, she could see, like, my neck and my chest. And so, in some of the lights you couldn't tell. You could tell when we were outside, you couldn't tell when we were inside the restaurant, you couldn't tell when we were inside the mall. So she said otherwise she thinks it's a pretty good match. I feel pretty good about it. I could lighten it up like with a little bit of this, but I mean, otherwise it's actually a pretty good match. Um, what was interesting to know is because I used two drops on this side, one drop on this side, uh, this side looks more dewy, so the more you use, the more dewy it looks. My eyeliner, which was the essence stays put no matter what, did not stay put. I mean, we were outside for maybe 10, 15 minutes in the humidity, and my eyeliner ran all under my eyes, so I was like wiping under my eyes to make it go away. I feel like nothing, no black liner right now will stay on, on um, my upper waterline. Just nothing. It just all runs under my eyes and looks like horrible. But that's beside the point. Yeah, the, the foundation's a pretty good match. Like I said, it's like teeny tiny bit too dark, and in certain light you can't even tell. So I'm actually pretty impressed by the fact that it's such a close match because I figured it would just be way too dark, and it's not. I, like I said, I found it interesting that the side that I used more product on was more dewy, this one, but they both look like natural skin. And um, while well, I did put on a little bit of blush, like you can see my natural flush from my rosacea coming through. Um, I do feel like the foundation is worn off already, though, at least on my chin. So you can see my chin's all red. A um, little bit of my nose. I don't know, it didn't, see, it didn't really seem to last that long. I mean, because it's only been like five hours or something. So, I, but I didn't use a primer, so I'll have to try it again with the primer. But I wanted to do a video and show you what it looked like on my skin um, in action. Like, when I finally got the right shade. Oh, and just so you can see... This is porcelain, this is um, satin, and let me show you the two of those colors side by side. Got a shake. Okay. 
think that shook it up enough. Satin just kind of like immediately came out in like this huge glom. Here are the two colors partially blended on my hand. Here are the two colors blended out a little more. You can see that uh, bare satin is like if I ever could get a tan, which I guess I could. I could use Beauty Sol and have a tan with Beauty Sol. And then um, this is porcelain. It, it's a little bit darker than my hand at this point. If I blend in some more, there. Now you really can't see where it is on my hand. I blended it in all the way. Kind of amazing how this foundation just blends, blends, blends. So anyway, what do you think of the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation on Porcelain? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.